Hi friends, we are going to continue with our read alouds. Today we are going to read Dragons Love Tacos. This is one of my absolute favorite, favorite stories. So we will read it today. And when we're reading, we've been looking at the characters. And remember, the characters are the people in the book who the story is about. Today, I want us to think about the characters and the setting. Hmm, what's the setting? The setting is where the story takes place, okay? So we'll talk a little bit more about that at the end, but I'm wondering if you can use your eyes and your ears to figure out the characters and the setting. Dragons love tacos. It's written by Adam Rubin. If it's written by him, that means that the words, he wrote all of the words, okay? And we call him the author. So the author writes all the words, and that's Adam Rubin. It's illustrated by Daniel Samari. That means that Daniel drew all of the pictures, okay? So we have Adam, the author, and Daniel, the illustrator. Dragons love tacos. And I'm going to put my glasses on just because... When I'm looking at the computer, they help my eyes. I love this story. Hey kid, do you know, I'm sorry, let me scoot over so you can see the book world. There we go, all right, let's start over. Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big, gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tacos. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate green spicy salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy, chunky salsa and spicy, smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, the dragons can't stand it. No spicy salsa, a guide to dragon cuisine. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot salsa of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of a hot paper, pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the topics mild. Tomatoes, check lettuce check cheese check these are all good toppings for for ta tacos for dragons hey dragon how do you feel about spicy tacos do you see them mm, not good dragons love parties they like costume parties and pool parties they like big, gigantic parties with accordions and teeny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of good friends laughter. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is Taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos, 
pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos? Uh, that's about how many tacos dragons need for a party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? He's putting it on his calendar. It says, you're invited taco party for dragons at Robbie's house, November 23rd, 7 p.m. Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host the, your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. There he is, he's burying it, you see him? These dragons love your taco party. They love the music, they love the decorations, they especially love the tacos. Congratulations! It's a good thing you got rid of all of that spicy. Wait, wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print? Totally mild salsa. Now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not gonna love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <gasps> They're eating the tacos. What's gonna happen? What do you think? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I think you might be right. Let's see what happens. Too late. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. After all, dragons love tacos. Oh my goodness, friends. Can you believe that at the beginning of the story, the little boy Robbie just wanted to, was learning about dragons. And then in the middle of the story, he decided that he wanted to throw a dragon party. And then at the end of the story, the dragons blew up his house and he had to rebuild it with them. Oh my goodness. All because there was some jalapenos in that salsa. Can you believe it? I kind of can. Who were the characters in this book? Who was the story about? Mm-hmm, yeah, Robbie, the little boy, and the dragons, of course. And then the, he also had a dog. So if you mentioned the dog, he could also be a character. Where did the story take place? What was the setting? You wanna look at the pictures? Where did the story take place? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it took place at Robbie's house or in a house. Good. Well, friends, that was Dragons Love Tacos. I hope you enjoyed this story. It's one of my favorites. I think it's so funny. There's a Dragon Loves Tacos too. There's a sequel. We'll have to get that and read that sometime together. Have a great day.